Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing good. And in this video, I'm going to uh, show you some quick uh, questions about uh, CDS. Maybe this is just a, a starting of the CDS. What kind of questions may come? Okay. Um, then in the following videos, we'll add topic wise what kind of questions uh, may expect in your um, technical discussions. Okay. So mostly with slides, uh, I don't want to waste your time again, explain the same thing um, which I explained in other CDS view uh, videos. Okay. So uh, first thing is kind of uh, information is not kind of questions. You, you might aware of this like CDS is like nothing but a score data services and it is a view. It can be done uh, on top of more than one table or a single table and uh, it can be enriched with metadata. So that used in many places, many applications. And uh, a serious view is used in the HANA database layer. So it's nothing but a code push down approach. So the execution time is it's faster and it can be assigned to an authorization object. So we can have a control on it. It's not like anybody can able to use a view. So we have an option to do that. So probably in the other videos, we can see uh, both the annotations and everything. <coughs> Excuse me for an authorization object and uh, so currently we are able to create two different objects under core data services maybe you can use either eclipse or hana studio uh, tool to generate your cds so one is access control and one is data definition so if you start working with cds mostly we create a data definition part access control is again it's okay it's a uh, part of uh, authorization so uh, we'll we'll come with a different set of uh, questions for access control <coughs> sorry excuse me when activating a cds uh, what are the objects created in a bad dictionary okay so that might be the question so the answer could be there are two things to create a cds entity uh, which we use a define view uh, statement and sql view that is under which we use the notation SQL view name. So these two are getting created in a BAP dictionary. So once you go to SC11, you are able to see both uh, under one object actually in a CDS uh, SQL view itself. They mention what is the DDL language name. It's nothing but an entity name. You're able to see that. So this happens when you activate your CDS view. And what is the maximum length for a series view entity? It's it's common same in ABAP. It's 30 is the maximum length. And the next question is how to identify CDS view or a series entity. That could be a question or, or technically you should know because in some application we are using CDS entity and some we have series view. Sometimes we can use either way. That's that's not a problem but we need to identify entity we should know so if you open any any uh, cds view there are two places maybe the same thing uh, in a different question uh, a map catalog sql view annotation defines that is a cds view or sql view and the statement define view after the define view whatever name they given that is nothing but a cds entity okay so these are the two places you have to identify the cds entity and cds view and um, the another question is what are the accepted formats for cds entity so it, it's simple um, cds entity name starts with a letter uh, it can be alpha numeric underscore can be used and cds entity and cds view name cannot be same it should not be same you have to give some difference at least underscore one underscore two whatever otherwise you'll get a syntax error and uh, but maybe a question can CDS entity and CDS view name can be identical. So the answer is no. Uh, what are the possible ways to comment the code? Uh, there are uh, three things we are able to do it. So you can go with double dash or double slash uh, slash star or star, star slash. It's, it's for uh, maybe you have to comment a block of code. You can use this or uh, single line either this or this you are able to use it. And uh, um, shortcut for using a double slash is control shift comma and control shift dot to uncomment the code or code multiple lines. 
then uh, uh, how to search a different development objects based on the types in Eclipse. So it's not only for serious. I just have a have this for a common or uh, all the types of objects to, to search. So it's very simple. Open a, a development object. We have a, a browser kind of button, and you can type whatever name partially if you know the name. So start with Z star and then type ddls so if you want to find only the data definition you want to search then use a type ddls so like that you can have many types so if you give a name star space type colon control space bar it will list out what are all the uh, possible or applicable types are available so based on that you can find a function module or a class or a program because eclipse is it's an open uh, source tool you can create a lot of different objects so this is a way to identify uh, different types of objects in eclipse then uh, um, where to view or execute the sql statement of the cds it's, it's very uh, quite important because uh, after running your uh, series view, after you're getting a raw data, I want to execute few more things to uh, satisfy my requirement or my business. So what I have to do is you got to go to the SQL console. So SQL console you're able to find in the output is so a raw data. So you're able to see there is an SQL console. And if you click it, it will open a SQL statement for your CDS view. Then here you can able to modify it. You can modify, check and run. It'll, it'll give some details about it, how many data comes, how many seconds it's, it's executed. So everything. So this plays a little major role to understand your output and the execution and everything. So that is coming under SQL console and that is in your uh, output like once you execute on your, your output you're able to see an option to open a sql console window okay, okay the next one okay um just different perspective or templates or views for development especially in the tool level it could be eclipse or hana tool and that might be have in your discussion so Generally, uh, the technical terms or perspective, or we call it as templates, views, or commands, and their usage is very few. I have listed here, and whenever you have a time, it's these are common things which we normally use. And just go through and have a uh, just see the name on it. What actually? What is the window name, or what's the perspective name which we are using? Okay. Now the first one is above perspective is the common one where we need to do all the above related developments could be a function module class whatever it is even above series also we need this perspective to generate uh, the relevant object and debug perspective is for the debug related things so normally uh, if you in a serious level yes it's, it's going to be a table function or amdp so we need this perspective to uh, start and debug uh, the sql functions or whatever the code we have written inside these two options table function or amdp so we need debug perspective and the problems view it's not a perspective it's a view also where we we are able to see what is the error happened while check or activate what is a warning message so those informations are uh, listed in this problems view option and then templates view uh, is nothing but um, so the templates is like uh, different kinds of templates are defined in that particular view uh, it has like I want to create a view. I want to create a view with the joins. I want to create a, a, what do you call the extend a view. So it by default it has some template. It consists of some uh, annotations and the basic defaults: so the define view, view name, and open and closed parentheses. Those things are available. So suppose if you open a view differently after that, if you want to change the template. You don't want to rewrite it, so the template will help you. So for that, you have to use a template view. And history view is going to be displayed, listed all the transport log of your CDS view. That is going to be useful because normally in maybe any ABAP developments, we need uh, we need the place to see all the transports. 
for the existing development or uh, for some comparisons we normally use it so for that you have to go to the history view and the command level i can say it's a compare but it's just a command just to compare the version of your cds between two different systems like development quality and production i want to see what are the changes happens so mo mostly for that we use the command like something but compare with maybe right click your view you have option compare with and it listed all the uh, uh, relevant um, server like development quality and production wherever your user id has available so those uh, servers are displayed so you can just select and uh, I, so so two windows it just opened and same like abab version comparison in eclipse or studio ana studio it opens and you can start comparing it so these are the very few basic commands once you start developing with uh, cds so hope this might have some idea what needs to be prepared uh, from the very basic level about cds so going forward we have uh, different kind of questions uh, especially from the cds perspective okay so thank you so much for your time and uh, see you in the next video bye